So you might be trying to go ahead and compress some videos on your iPhone. Now this is actually a very basic process and it really doesn't take too much time, but there are tons of different applications you can do to actually do this. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is going to your app store and just type in video compressor and finding a video compressor application that works for you. I just downloaded the first one and we're just gonna see how it works, but essentially you wanna download an application and then essentially once it's downloaded, go ahead and open up that app. A big thing is you want to allow basically, you don't have to allow activity, but you want to allow videos and photo access at some point. So you can click on this button wherever it is and you want to allow access to all photos or select the photos that you want and you'll be able to bring in the videos that you want. So in this case, let's say I want this video and I want to compress it. But what I can do is I can go and click this check mark up here and it's going to start downloading, I guess, from the cloud. And it's going to allow me to kind of you know measure and show how much I want to go ahead and actually compress. So if that's the target size I want, well, what I can do is I can go and have it that, you know, compression rate. But I can go ahead and also bring it up and I can have it, you know, higher. Or I can also bring it lower if I really want to. But it's also going to remember that the higher or the lower the, the number gets, the lower the amount of storage it takes up, the less quality that video is going to be. So there is a trade-off. So definitely keep that in mind. So when I'm ready, all I have to do is go and click this download button. And that is it. So then at this point, it, as you can see, it basically tells us that our specific video is done. We can go and hop out of here go into our Photos app, and that new video should be all the way down here as you can see. Now, if we look at the storage, we should be able to see that it doesn't take up as much storage as before. It looks like I can't really see the storage that well. 2.5 megabytes right up there. If we look at the original video that we just did, which was right up here, I believe it was this one. That one was 2.5. This one is was 15 megabytes or something. So definitely that's basically how to do it. If you're trying to compress the most amount of videos, that is basically the plan. And yeah, it works pretty well. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.